that for this. Okay, so I have all these skateboards milled down to these small tiny pieces here. The first one here is the bottom of the skateboards which has all the graphics and stickers and all these scratch marks. The second one here is the top of the skateboard and I cut it into these what is this called? Trapezoid using the table saw. And the third one here, I felt I had a little too much of these bottom pieces. Maybe just half of these I'll cut into this trapezoid shape. So that's what I have right now. Now I'm gonna use CA glue to temporarily glue it down to the plywood. Now I have it all kind of arranged, but just for you. <laughs> Why did I do that?
Okay, so I have all the skateboard pieces glued up and this one here specifically, this one is the top of the skateboard and I wanna sand this down smooth so that all the colors start popping and it's gonna look really nice. And I got a brand new sander, it's the Merca and I'm gonna show you how it performs right now. Cool? So I have all these pieces sanded and ready for finish and I'm going to be I'm going to be using totable tabletop epoxy to cover up all these dirty skateboards and it's gonna look really nice and shiny and it's really easy to do I'm gonna do two different coats you just have to make sure all these pieces are leveled so that it self levels by itself and if you're interested in totable products check out the link down in the description below and you can save 15 percent off Thank you, Total Bow.
Here it is. Wall art made out of broken skateboards, and I covered these up with Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy, and it came out really clean and really nice. And I'm gonna have all three of these available on my website, which is wobi.design. Okay, so here are some takeaways that you should be taking away from this takeaway. First, I wanted to get the most out of these broken skateboards, so I re it in half and I was able to double the amount of materials that I could get from these broken skateboards. I also separated between the bottom and the top of the skateboard so I could get two different types of material. The bottom of the skateboard usually have a busier pattern. It has all these graphics, stickers, uh, paint, scratch marks and the tops of these skateboards are usually protected with grip tape and once you remove the grip tape only thing you're left with is a clean surface that you just have to sand down a little bit and you're gonna get a really nice color once you have it all nice and sanded. Another thing I was able to cut all these skateboard pieces into same sizes and shapes so I could connect these shapes and get a continuous pattern and I could make this as big as I wanted to if I wanted to make a 4x8 sheet of plywood made out of skateboards I could do it. Am I gonna do it? Go watch that video. Probably not gonna do it. But the point is you could utilize these small pieces and have a continuous pattern and make it as big as you want. Nice, right? And lastly, the bottom of these skateboards are fairly dirty and it's been out on the streets and I don't want anybody getting germs, especially around this time. So I decided to cover it up with Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy and I was able to get a really clear gloss finish that just looks really nice. And it's gonna be well protected and it's like a mirror finish. And it's super easy, you just have to pour it self levels and Come back the next day and do another pour, however deep you want to go. That's what she said. Now I know a lot of you don't have a bunch of skateboards just laying around in your house. So you could do this using different types of materials like, I don't know, pennies, bottle caps, postcards, stamps. Whatever you want, you could always use total tabletop epoxy and just cover the whole thing up. Simple as that. And it's going to come out amazing. Like, I'm not that good. But this looks good. Okay, so that's it for this video. I want to give a special thanks to Total Boat for helping me out with this project here. And if you want to save some money, go ahead and check out the link down in the description below and you can save 15% off. Thanks, Total Boat. Special shout out to Joshua Whipple for becoming the first Patreon member of Wobie Design. You win, buddy. And if you guys want to support me on Patreon page, go ahead and check out the link down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching and if you haven't already, please subscribe and if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Till next time.